Feature films draw inspiration from everywhere. TV, fairy tales, and now iPhone apps. We're birds. We're descended from dinosaurs. We're not supposed to be nice. Holy moly. Yeah, point made. Taking the number one spot this week is a movie based on a smartphone app a concept that surely would make Alfred Hitchcock turn over in his grave. Angry Birds is set to bring in an estimated $39 million in its debut weekend. It's a solid opening for an animated film and one of the best openings of all time for a movie based on a video game. The only video game adaptation to do better is Angelina Jolie's Laura Croft Tomb Raider, which brought in almost $48 million in its opening weekend in 2001. While the critical reception has been just okay for Angry Birds, this better than average box office debut is great news for all the other video game adaptation films in the works. Between now and 2018, there are at least three big budget video game films hitting the silver screen including Universal's highly anticipated and extremely expensive Warcraft movie hitting theaters next month. Well, if this trend has to continue, I have one semi-serious suggestion. Okay, okay, I'm mostly joking. On to number two. What's wrong about you? The whole world, what's wrong about you? Getting booty from the top spot this week is Captain America Civil War, bringing an estimated $33 million in its third weekend out, pushing the movie to $1 billion worldwide. Civil War is one of 25 movies in cinema history to cross that mark. On to number three. You called our parents? Dad! What is this? What happened to my little girl? It's really not a big deal. This is a very big deal. Taking the number three spot this week is Neighbors 2, bringing in more than $21.5 million. That's a fairly average box office debut, but the real surprise here is the critical reception. The new comedy, again directed by Nick Stoller, is both funnier than its predecessor and offers a significant amount more depth in what it's aiming to do. While on the surface, this seems like any other comedy sequel, a la Hangover 2, with the same jokes and premise as the first film, Neighbors 2 manages to leave the viewer with a message of gender inequality. It's about something. But it's about something without being super heavy handed and preachy about being about that thing. Hopefully for Universal's sake, the great word of mouth surrounding this movie can help it perform better at the box office in the future. As for next week, the superhero hits keep coming. Some call him Apocalypse. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrus.